everyone, so I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe. Today I thought I'd film a self-care day. I feel like this video will be so appropriate for a lot of you right now, whether you're on lockdown and staying indoors, or you're on the front line, a key worker, and you have a day off, and you just need a little bit of a pick-me-up. It is so important to self-care and do the things you love. So, I'm going to show you what I would typically do. I wake up, I open my blinds, I pop my socks on and my dressing gown, and then the first thing I like to do always is make my bed. I feel like this just sets you up for the day, no matter to what you are doing. It is then straight to the kettle for me and I like to make a nice cup of tea in the morning, every morning. Um, I also like to pick out a favourite mug. This one just seems very appropriate today. It's Be Happy. I believe I got this from Home Bargains. It was only like £1.50 but it's one of my favourite mugs. Then I like to make myself a shake. No matter what day of the week it is, breakfast is always key. Um, this is just my favourite breakfast to be honest with you. I just love a cold refreshing shake. I use Herbal Life supplements um, and I put some frozen berries into and it is delicious. Nothing can break me I like to take my vitamins. I do have quite a lot of vitamins that I take every single morning, but yeah, I know there's a lot of controversy whether vitamins do anything for you or not, but I don't know. I like to take them anyway, so that's that. Then it's into my wardrobe slash beauty room to sort this face out. I honestly just love putting a bit of makeup on. I mean, I try not to wear makeup every single day of the week, but makeup just makes me feel better. Once I've got a full face on, I just feel me and it picks me up. So whatever makes you feel good, then I'm going to pick out a gym attire because I'm going to do some yoga this morning. I feel like a lot of us have heightened anxiety at the moment and I just have found that yoga has really been helping with my anxiety, calming me down. So yeah, if you've never tried it, then I definitely recommend you giving it a go. Next, we are back into the kitchen. I like to clean the kitchen in the morning. I mean, it's pretty tidy, but I like to just get my flash spray, spray all the worktops down, just pop anything in the cupboards. Tidy house is, what is it, a tidy mind? No, that is not the saying, but you know what I mean? When everything's tidy, I just feel like my mindset is so much better. And then it's off outside to do some yoga. So I just use my phone for this. I just go onto YouTube and just find a yoga routine. I did a 10 minute one. I will leave it in the description bar, the one I did actually. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's just so good for your mind and soul. Really helps just start your day, I personally feel. And it was such a lovely day as well. I just think going out in your garden for some fresh air um, it really helps too. And also, like I mentioned, with the heightened anxiety that a lot of us have at the moment, I just really find that this helps. So definitely give it a go. Faster car, nothing can break me, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me, nothing can break me. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Then it's time for some lunch and making one of my favorites a wrap with veggie um, fingers in some salad and then sweet chili sauce and mayonnaise whatever makes you happy and satisfies your taste buds you can say i lost my mind i will keep on holding my head high after lunch, it is then time to get out for some exercise. So I have been doing this every single day on lockdown because obviously we can't go out the house. I'm so incredibly lucky to have a beautiful driveway and the countryside on my doorstep. As you guys know, I live in the country. So yeah, I'm very, very blessed 
that yeah I have some really nice places to walk because I know as well that you're not supposed to get in your car and drive anywhere it is merely just outside your house and walking around there but yes it's so important that you do take advantage of your one piece of exercise a day and try and do that if not every day but every other day because especially whilst we're all stuck inside it's just nice to be able to get out some fresh air exercise and you'll feel so much better for it guys Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down After my walk, I then decided to bake a cake because I love baking in my spare time. I find it so therapeutic. I really enjoy it. I'm not the best, but hey, I'm still learning. Um, and it was actually my dad's birthday the following day, so I thought I'd do him a birthday cake. I actually had to go and pick up his prescription, so um, I just thought I'd drop it on his doorstep. Obviously, can't visit because we're not allowed to, but yeah, I dropped it on his doorstep, so that cheered him up. Um, okay, so let's get started with the bake off. Um, I'm gonna just do like a little step by step just in case you do want to follow along and do this at home so you're going to need some grease proof paper and some baking tins i'm doing two cakes one for like i said my dad and i also made a little one for me and mom just in case you guys didn't know my mum is actually staying with me at the moment during this lockdown because my dad is still going out to work and she's in the high risk category so it doesn't really uh, make sense for her to be at home because she is still at risk sort of thing with my dad so yeah just to let you know that. So just taking some grease proof paper and cutting around my tin, then I'm just gonna grab some butter and then just pop the butter over the grease proof paper and yeah, just make sure the tin is all nicely greased so it doesn't stick. Okay, so the first step, you're just gonna take some butter at room temperature and sugar, pop them into a bowl. You can use a whisk, a electric whisk, or a freestanding whisk, whichever you have. Um, obviously, these freestanding ones are brilliant. If you bake a lot, definitely recommend investing in them because it just saves your arm, guys. <laughs> so yeah, love these. So your butter sugar should look like this, pale and light and fluffy. We are then going to slowly add the eggs into the mixture. Now I do actually like to whisk my eggs, I just feel like it makes the cake itself a little bit lighter and fluffier. Um, but you don't want to over whisk them, so don't do any longer than a minute. Just when it starts to foam, that is enough. So as I said, I'm making a lemon cake. You could do a chocolate one and add cocoa in at this point, or you could just have a plain Victoria sponge, but I wanted lemon, so I am taking one lemon. I'm gonna take the rind of one lemon and just grate that in, and then just as much lemon juice as you wanna add in, just sort of taste it, and yeah, it's all personal preference, however lemony you want. So I pop that in, I think I put like just over half of lemon juice in and then you're going to pop in your self-raising flour always sift this you don't want any lumps so yeah sift your flour in um, and then i also put some baking powder in and there's one thing i did actually forget to show you that i put in as well which was two tablespoons is it two tablespoons i think it was two tablespoons of milk uh, again that just helps the mixture just be a little bit more moist and fluffy so yeah you just want to fold that all in don't beat it just fold it in because you don't want to knock the air out Okay, so once you have folded that all in, it is then time to just equally distribute the mixture into your tins. You then want to pop your cake into the oven. Um, you want to bake it for between 25 to 30 minutes. So I checked on it at 25 and then I just kept putting it in for like another couple of minutes if it wasn't done. Next, we're gonna move on to decorating and the filling. So I just put a buttercream filling with a little bit of lemon juice um, in the middle. I will leave the buttercream recipe in the description bar and then for the lemon, all you do is just again, put some lemon juice into it just to make it lemony. So that is the filling.
Okay, now on to decorating. You're gonna have to excuse my decorating because decorating isn't my forte at all. Um, but I just added a little bit of yellow colouring into my buttercream to make this like bright yellow colour. Um, and then I just kept the other buttercream just the normal colour that it is. It's like a slight off yellow, isn't it? Now I believe the professionals put like a buttercream base on first and then go over with like their yellow and their other buttercream. That just ensures that the cake doesn't like peep through. Do you know how you can probably see a little bit of the cake peeping through in place? Is. that is to stop that um but yeah anyway i'm not professional and i definitely didn't have enough butter to do more buttercream so here are the finishing cakes i think they turned out quite well i'm not a professional but yeah they tasted really good anyway right on to bath time a self-care day isn't a self-care day without a lovely soak in the bath and just doing some of my favorite pamper things Next, it is time to take off our makeup. Now, I'm using the Elemis Resurfacing Cleanser. I recently picked this up, um, I bought it myself, just a little disclaimer, um, and it's so good. I normally use the Rose Cleansing Balm, which I love as well. It's so good if you haven't tried that. But yeah, I thought I'd try something different, and I really like this. I love the bottle, it's really easy to use, um, and it smells great too. I'm using this with my Foreo. I love using my Foreo. I just find that it really helps with my skin surface and um, texture of my skin. Okay, so that is me all makeup free. Now it's time for a face mask. I'm using the Revolution Pink Clay Face Mask. I recently picked this up from Beauty Bear. I never even realized that Revolution do skincare, um, but it's so good. I really like this. It's really affordable. Um, and yeah, I, it makes my skin so soft after I've used it. Okay, so before I hop into the bath, it is now time to make myself a lovely cold drink. I love to have a cold drink in the bath. I normally just have water, but I really fancied a cold coffee. Um, I do drink decaf, just in case you're wondering. Um, I wouldn't normally have like a full decaffeinated drink right before bed because it would keep me up. Um, but yeah, love this drink. I have oat milk, the only one, and it's so lovely. Okay, and then it's time to start some self-care, beauty and pampering. Starting with my hair, it needed a really good wash. Um, I used the Maui Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner, just in case you're wondering. Um, it's like sulfate free and stuff. Honestly, there is nothing better than washing your hair, coming out of the bath and just drying it and you've just got fresh hair. It makes you feel so much better. Then I just did a full scrub and got any old fake tan off and then a full shave. Honestly, how much better do you feel after you've shaved your legs and oh, you just feel so good after. Right, now I'm putting some Elemis skincare on. So I use the night cream and the pro collagen marine oil. This stuff is honestly so, so good. It, oh, it just does wonders to my skin. I love it. Moving on to possibly one of my favorite parts of my self-care slash beauty regime and that is fake tan. For me, life definitely is better with fake tan and just tan skin. Um, I'm very fair and pale naturally so just popping a bit of colour into my skin it's just an instant pick me up it makes you feel more glowy more alive does anybody relate or is it just me I mean I can't always be bothered to do my tan but I know the moment I do put the effort into it and do it I just feel like a whole different person so yeah it's definitely a good pick me up for me and you know it's all about doing whatever makes you happy girls um so yeah i'm using the molly may fake tan in ultra dark definitely recommend it long lasting really nice color it is super dark um but yeah it is brilliant so i will be repurchasing and i'm just wearing my new pjs by the way these are from bow avenue they are so unbelievably comfy and socks are also bow avenue <laughs> Okay, so before I do my last beauty treatment, it is time for a slice of my cake that I made earlier and a good cup of tea. Also, 
also it isn't a chilled evening without some compulsory kibby cuddles so i just grabbed boot for some snuggles she absolutely loves having her chin rubbed underneath just look at her Okay, time to redo my nails. Um, I've been living black at the moment. Um, I just, I don't know what it is. It just goes with absolutely everything. I need to pick up a new nude one. But yeah, I always do my gel nails at home now. It's just so quick, easy, more affordable. I am going to be doing a full DIY video on how to do your own nails, eyebrows, lashes, the lot. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so that is my nails all done. They look so much better, nice and fresh, just how we like them. Then it is time to chill with the cats, give them their little treat stick. They go mad for this every single night. I then just wanted to sort of rewind, relax, switch off, put my phone down and just watch a good old classic film. So I picked a Cinderella story. I honestly think I've seen this film like a million times, but it's just one of them films that you can watch and watch and watch and never get bored of. Um, and it's a real feel good film as well. So love that. Um, but yeah, that brings us to the end of my self care day. I really, really hope you have enjoyed watching this. Make sure you take some time for you gals, no matter if it's just an hour or two. It's so important to just have a break sometime and do something that makes you happy. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye bye!